It's another day. Yep. And guess what it's time for? It's time to make another video. Let's do it. We're going to finish up our electrical project and there's only a few more things to do. And as you will recall, the last time I left you, I put that those wires back in that box and now I'm getting ready to make up the box. And I've already shut the power off and I got to pull these wires back out of here. I left it in here for a couple days and this this box is going to be easy to hook up because all I've got is these wires. A black, white, and a ground wire. Ready to hook up this electrical outlet? I am. Have you noticed something? Look it! Do you remember last time I left you we had blue Formica countertops on here? Here's new granite, and I'll get to that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Looks awesome, though, by the way. I've got my wires here, and I'm going to be hooking up this duplex electrical outlet. And this is pretty simple. This should be... Uh-oh, they... I'm wanted again. Hang on. going to be hooking up this duplex electrical outlet. What I like to do is, is attach the wires to the side screws rather than put them on the back. Put them on the back, sometimes they loosen up. So because I only got one black wire, one white wire, and a ground wire, I only need one screw unscrewed on the side. I'm going to tighten up the other side just so it gives me a little bit more play. And I like to undo these screws a little bit until I feel like I can't unscrew it anymore. If you do it too hard though, you can take it out further. Okay, you can take that whole screw out if you wanted. Okay, I got them out that far. And because this is a cut-in box, cut-in plastic box, remember we're gonna cut these little, these little tabs off. And there's a little score mark right there. And I'm just gonna score it a little bit more I'm going to take that and bend that off. Okay, I'm going to do that on all, all the ends. I can turn this around this way and score it. There's a score mark on there, but I find if you score it a little bit more, it bends off easier. Grab it like that, twist on it, and it comes off. See? You see we got, a, the outlet's going to be like that. Now that notch is going to fit, there's a little notch in the plastic box, and that's what that's for. Because the box is a cut-in box, and it's got plastic ears on it, and that's what keeps the box from falling into the wall. If you haven't seen that, look on my channel and I've got videos that show you how to install a cut-in plastic box like that. Okay. Then normally what I like to do is I like to undo the little plastic goodie or the little cardboard goodie on the back side and take these, these screws out uh, of the actual outlet. That way I can push it in and make sure it's lined up. In this case, I've only got three wires, so this one's going to be easy, but I'm going to unscrew this anyways because I want you to see what you normally should do before you put that in. Because once you got the wires, if you got a box that's got three sets of wires in there or two sets or something, you're going to have more wires in there to push in and fish it back into the wall. And what I like to do is make sure this is pushed nice and tight back in there, and I can't really do that with these screws in my way. I could, I could put it in a different hole as I'm pushing it in, you know, so I can push it all the way back there. But I like to just take this out and I can kind of hold the plug and kind of push it in to readjust it however and then redo the screws, you know. So it's not that big of a deal to just take this and I just hold a little cardboard deal. Okay. 
sometimes you can if you can you can pull it straight out of that little cardboard they don't have it unscrewed all the way and if I pull real hard then it will come out that's just to hold the screw in place okay so here's my electrical outlet now it's ready to be installed isn't it